So the mill's coming along pretty well here. I uh, got the knee put on. There wasn't a whole lot to see. I just uh, put it up in place, bolted the bottom part in place, and then put the gib on. But uh, it's looking great so far. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy that I'm actually taking it apart and painting it. It's starting to look uh, really good and come together pretty well. So today I'm mostly working on reassembling the table feed. That includes the motor, the transmission, and then the uh, housing for the chain link belt that it uses. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble that and then put it on the machine. So first of all, I'm going to work on bolting the motor on. Well, it looks like the original bolts that were on there are mismatched. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. And also, unfortunately, one has broken off in there sometime way in the past, so I'm not really going to worry about that right now. I'm not quite sure how I'd even go about removing it at this point. Um, and uh, the originally, <laughs> when I got it, it's only holding on, only held on by two bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in some new bolts. And uh, it's only going to be three of them, but I think that should be fine for this application. I don't think it's under very much torque. And now I'm going to work on putting the big drive gear on. Now I don't have a spanner wrench, <clears throat> but I do have some drill bits, so... That's going to be how I'm going to drive this in. Alright, it's nice and tight. I'm going to lube up the chain a little bit with some fresh oil. go. Let's tighten this motor down. Okay, the motor's all attached, running really smooth. So we'll go ahead and put the belt guard on, or the chain guard, I guess.
Okay, then I'll just fasten this back part of the guard on. And then finally I have one of these really old school oilers and this oils the chain drive. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And that should be about straight. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and install part of the drive shaft here. Okay, so this is the completed, uh, refurbished table feed module. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can lift it up onto the machine. Uh, it's pretty heavy, so we'll see if I can do it without any help, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Wow, I really forgot how heavy this thing is. Uh, <laughs> I did get it up here though, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some these a bit further tightened. Okay, so there's the table feed assembly all in place. You can change between the different speeds for the table feed. And it's one step closer to being done at the mill. Yep, thanks for watching.